So William and Kate stepped out to mark Black History Month in Wales. And I don't know whom these people are actually trying to fool, but they can't fool us. We saw the way that they treated Megan. We saw the way they treated Archie. And we're seeing even the way they're treating Lilibet right now. You remember when they were invited to Lilibet's christening, uh, christening, they were not even willing to attend it. So for the fact that they never accepted Megan together with her kids, just tells you where they stand with black and biracial people. But then William and Kate are just very okay to pretend like they love, uh, like they love black people. So now they stepped out in Wales to mark Black History Month. And one word for all this, pathetic. It is pathetic. And probably William and Kate think that this is something so good to do, but it's not. People are not falling for their lies anymore. They can pretend to like black people. They can try everything, but people already see their true colors. And I even saw this very interesting tweet where someone said that no amount of diversity, washing or meeting black, Asian and minority ethnic elders during Black History Month in at Grange Pavilion changes that vast majority of the royal family's wealth comes from genocide and the transatlantic slave trade. Well, people are not going to forget everything that the royal family did to black people. And you know, if that, uh, and as if that was not even enough, the way that they treated Meghan was just appalling. That was their only chance of treating a black person in the right way, but still, they failed in doing that. And right now, they're running around like headless chickens, pretending as though they like black people, but honestly, whom are they trying to fool? And from the look of their facial expressions, you could just see that William and Kate were not comfortable at all. Do you see the way they're laughing? It's like they're not even comfortable around these people. They know very well that all these they're doing for photo ops. Then they know that they don't like being around black people the same way that they proved that by the way they treated Megan. So... Right now, they can't even fool us. And their facial expressions tell it all. They look so awkward, right? Like, the situation is so awkward. They just have to do this for PR. They just have to do this for the survival of the monarchy. But you know, the monarchy is already dead. And no matter what they do, I don't think they're ever going to salvage it. And from what I even saw on Twitter, it seems like some of the die-hard fans of William and Kate are not happy with this story. They don't like it at all. One of them had even reposted this, which said that they need to engage themselves more in their duties before they can engage the public. Right now, they are getting full-time ben uh, full benefits for part-time work, their kids are busier than them in full-time school activities. They think cute family pics and social media posts is all they need. And you know, I'm not really surprised because it seems as though William and Kate think that only uh, social media posts and what they show the public is what matters and that that is how the public is going to view them. But no, it's not. Like... People can see how lazy you are. People can see how you treated Megan. And it now seems as though even their kids are busier than them are doing full-time school activities. William and Kate only appeared after the in, uh, during and after the Invictus Games. And that is to compete with Harry and Megan. We know that for a fact. So the fact that they are doing all this right now, I think... At this point, even their kids are working harder than William and Kate. And still, William and Kate are getting full-time benefits for part-time work. And then, they also reposted this post saying that William and Kate is equal to Harry and Meghan. Well, I refused that totally. Harry and Meghan are nothing like William and Kate. Harry and Meghan are very hardworking people and they know what they want in this life. But... 
the only thing William and Kate want is good PR. And it continues. Harry wanted part time. That's what William wants. Harry wanted the freedom to do what he wanted. All about him. Kate and William are the same. About them, not the monarchy. Difference is, Harry has financial deals. William was handed a billion pound duchy. If Harry was the heir, William's jealousy would land him where Harry is. And you know, that is very true. It seems like William is just still mad at Harry that Harry has everything that he ever wanted. William is very jealous about Prince Harry's situation. He wishes that he was in Prince Harry's uh, place right now, having the freedom, having um, not having to depend on the royal family for any kind of financial um, assistance. And he's still very jealous at him right now. So you can imagine if Harry was the heir, was the heir to the throne and William was the heir. Can you imagine the level of jealousy that William would actually have upon Prince Harry? Unimaginable, right? Another one, William and Kate will get rid of a lot. Too much hard work, keeping up and not interested. Their fans say they will do more when their kids are older as if work ethic is something you can pick up on a Tuesday morning. You have it or don't. The kids are in full-time school but the parents are still slacking. And as we said before, these kids are actually working harder than William and Kate. William and Kate are just busy competing with Harry and Meghan and not even caring what projects and what engagements they actually participate in, which is really embarrassing for them right now. And the final one said that William and Kate can't train anyone for their job because they lack experience themselves. William was obviously just meeting Gran for tea and nothing else, hence why he is now chasing celebrity. The example they are teaching the kids is you get all this privilege for minimal effort. And you know, this is very true. The example that William and Kate are setting out there for their kids is very bad. It's like it's, there's no need for you to work hard because you are born into this family so you don't have to work really hard. And then William and Kate still don't have any experience in anything. And the fact that just last week, Robert Jobson was saying that William needs, uh, Harry needs to go back so that he can be William's wingman is what really shocked me because I was like, William has had 41 years to prepare for this position and still, at, at this point in time, he still wants his brother to help him. That just tells you that what William has been doing all this time is having tea with his grandmother and still having tea with his father. That is all that he does instead of concentrating on his future role. And I'm not actually surprised that these same people drove Harry and Meghan away. They could see that the hard work of Harry and Meghan, the popularity, the popularity of Harry and Meghan was a threat to these other royals. So simply for the fact that Harry and Meghan are so hardworking, it became a threat to, uh, to William and Kate because uh, their laziness and their incompetence was actually seen by everyone. So they could not allow Harry and Meghan to be around them because Harry and Meghan exposed the true nature of William and Kate. And you still see until this point in time, William and Kate are still trying to compete with Harry and Meghan. I mean, what a shame. They should actually be ashamed of themselves because it's not doing them any kind of justice. In fact, it's just shaming them more and you can even see that their diehard fans are actually now going against them because they can say that William and Kate, the only thing that they are interested in is celebrity status. They are now trying to compete for attention, which is pretty embarrassing. Well, I don't know about you. Kindly let me know your thought on this, on William and Kate going for Black History Month 
and then the fact that their fans are also seeing uh, who William and Kate truly are who William and Kate truly are so let me know your thought on this and then I'll see you all squaddies on the next podcast have a wonderful and amazing day goodbye